All right, welcome back, clarinets. If this is your first time viewing some of my videos, I've made a number of videos on playing clarinet major scales in preparation for where I teach called the All Set Junior High Band Auditions. And in addition to learning nine major scales, I made three different videos of three scales each. All students need to play one chromatic scale of their choice. And in this video, I'm gonna go over three chromatic scales even though you only need to learn one and they will all be one octave scales, even though if you're going for an audition and one in a high position, I suggest you learn more than one, but that's something you can work with your teacher or your private teacher with. These scales are basic beginner scales, and we are gonna start with the low F scale on the clarinet. If you're unsure what a chromatic scale is, I have an example of a fingering chart here, and for example, the low F is up here, and basically you're gonna play every note do 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 and you just go right back down every box you play each box once and that's kind of how it is if you ever played it on the piano you would start on one of the keys and you would play every black and white key between the keys i guess i missed a note and that would be the chromatic scale okay now um we're gonna, I'm gonna put up the chart that I usually do. This is called the concert E flat scale, okay? So if you're a flute, you can start on E flat. If you're a different instrument, you can play along with this video. Clarinets are gonna be playing starting on the low F. Clarinets, trumpets, uh, tenor saxophones, and baritones, treble clefs. You would start your chromatic scale on an F. Flutes and low brass, you would start yours on an E flat. And alto and barry saxes, you would start yours on a C, okay? So I'm gonna pull up the scale right down here, the low F chromatic scale. All right, for this scale, I'm gonna set my metronome to 50 beats per minute with a 16th note subdivision, as you'll see in the notes below. This scale is done in a different rhythm. It's all slurred 16th notes going up and down, ending on a quarter note. I'm gonna to try to do this without taking a breath. If you play it more than one octave, you're probably gonna to have to take a breath. But here's the subdivision. You can hear those 16th notes. We're gonna start on that low F. Here we go. First time, we're gonna play it four times. One, and ready. Again, and ready. Again. One more time. Okay. All right, now we're going to transition a little bit up. We're going to go up to the concert F scale. I'll pull up this chart here. Clarinet, you're going to start on a low G, six finger G. Okay. If you are a flute, you're obviously playing an F scale. Low brass are on an F scale. And then trumpets and uh, tenor sax, you're joining the clarinet on the low G scale. Okay. Um, your notes may be slightly different. Okay. And we will start on that low G. Alto saxophones, this is a D scale. Okay, so let's pull that scale up, the low G scale for the clarinet. And I haven't mentioned this earlier, but I'm not using any alternate fingerings. I'm not going over fingerings. I'm using the basics, okay? But if you work with your teacher, alternate fingerings do make it easier to get up and down the chromatic scale, okay? So we're gonna start this on the low G, same metronome marking. One and ready. Again, and ready. Again. All right. 
So good job getting through the chromatic scale on the G. Now we're going to go up slightly higher. As you know, I'm not a big fan of going over the break, so I'm not going to go over the break in this chromatic exercise. Feel free, you can practice an octave above and practice that chromatic scale over the break, but we're going to go to the B flat. And if you know anything about the B flat on the clarinet, we have our lower B flat and our upper B flat's the last note before you go over that break to that B natural. So we're going to call this the concert A flat scale, okay? Flutes and low brass would play this starting on an A flat. But if you're a clarinet, a trumpet, a tenor sax, or a baritone treble clef, you would be starting this on your B flat. And alto saxophones, this would be your F your F and our altos and barriers would be playing this on an F, okay? So let's switch my scale over here to the B flat. Um, there we go. All right, great. Um, this looks awesome. So we're gonna start right there, same metronome marking. One and ready. Great job getting through the chromatic scales today. All right, these are not the most fun to practice, but once you master them and you know a few chromatic scales, every chromatic scale uses the same notes. You're just starting on a different note. So the more chromatic scales you learn on your instrument, the easier it will be to play any of the chromatic scales, okay? And um, uh, if you want to practice some major scales, please go visit that video. Hopefully, if you're preparing for an audition and, you're, and you need a chromatic scale, this video has helped you. If you can't play along with the video, you can always slow the speed down in the YouTube settings and play with it slower. And then once you master it, speed it up, and then you can go even faster. I think 50 beats on a metronome is a good place to start once you've mastered all those fingerings. If you don't know the fingerings, you're going to need to get your chart out and learn them, okay? That's going to be very, very helpful. All right. I hope this video has helped you today. If you're going for an audition, good luck and thanks for watching.